when I refer to open through and run, I'm actually talking about um, sort of two, there's sort of two different parts to it. Uh, one is sort of a more open, um, transparent, participatory model for how through and run services are provided. And, uh, and two is the actual technology and the open standards that kind of bring that all together. Um, so first to talk about the, the model, uh, it's, it's sort of taking the, what I call the sort of synchronous or one-to-one -one interactions that a phone call provides. Uh, so traditional through and one services, you know, exclusively kind of provided around a through and one call center. Someone calls um, through and one, sort of ubiquitous number that's, you know, much like 911 available in cities and places around uh, North America. And um, they get a call center operator who can, you know, help answer their question, take their, uh, if they're reporting something, can take that report, or can route them to the most appropriate authority. And so we're trying to take that uh, type of interaction and add all the benefits that the web provides, which means that it doesn't have to be this interaction just between two people, but it can be an interaction between many people at the same, you know, either at the same time or sort of over a span of time, rather than it being limited to the, these two people on this one call at one time. Um, so that allows the type of interactions to be much more collaborative, um, be much more inclusive, and be uh, much more sort of participatory and engaging. Um, and I think there's a really interesting relationship between uh, making those types of interactions transparent and open to the public as a public forum and encouraging participation. Uh, when, when people know that you know, their voice is being heard and they're not just speaking into a black box, um, they, I think, are a lot more encouraged to participate and engage with uh, civic life. There's a number of different things that I see as being significant about the, the open through and one uh, effort. Uh, one is is providing uh, a common foundation for civic engagement and participation uh, on a local level, which you know, I, I see in sort of the larger realm of open government, the, the local level um, is what I see as really being you know, maybe the most powerful in, in that it um, it really relates to people, it's tangible. You know, cities are sort of like the, the user interface to, uh, to our, our, our society and our government. So um, when you can provide easier ways of interacting with that, um, I think it really speaks to people. So providing you know, better ways for people to engage with, uh, with their community is really powerful, particularly doing that in a very open and uh, sort of ubiquitous way. Um, and, uh, and secondly, I think there's there's a huge amount of significance in just what this shows as far as how different government agencies and different cities can work together and collaborate um, and provide something that's open and um, as accessible as the web uh, when it comes to interacting with their cities and, and public services and, and democracy. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I'd say there's a huge amount of significance to, to, to citizens and how they can interact with one another and interact with their government. And there's a huge amount of significance in, in how governments can interact with one another and, uh, and sort of share the innovations and the, the technology and the communication that works best. A number of cities have been engaged with Open Through and One, but the cities that have really been uh, championing it and pushing it forward and really uh, hammering out the specification and, and working out all the all the tricky issues to, to get this to work together has been San Francisco and Washington, D.C. And um, there are a number of other cities that are coming on board and interested in working together. But so far, uh, those two cities are the cities that are uh, you know, have really made sure that we've got a specification that can uh, interoperate and work between both cities. And uh, I think there's something really symbolic about that in, in how you know, D.C. in many ways represents you know government. And, and San Francisco in many ways represents uh, tech, the technology community. Um, and so I think there's a, a really powerful synergy that can sort of come out of, of that type of interaction and with other cities and other, other levels of government sort of being brought into that type of collaboration. Um, but there are other, you know, there are nonprofits and private companies um, and individuals that have really been pushing this forward as well. Uh, our organization, the Open, Pl or Open Plans, uh, has, uh, has been there to help convene and, and sort of mediate and facilitate collaboration and 
uh, some of the great companies out there like uh, C Pipe Pex have helped uh, inform the specification and and work with existing services. Um, so it's really, I mean, it's it's been a great example of collaboration, and we hope to uh, continue to make it even more collaborative and more inclusive and bring in more uh, more people. The technology that kind of enables the uh, the model of an open through and one platform is based around open standards and uh, much like the web it's it's not you know any one specific piece of technology or one any one specific service but it's this uh, open standard that can be implemented by anyone and can and can sort of be interoperable between any two parties and Part of the reason that this concept of an open standard is really important is to, to bring the ubiquity and sort of uh, consistency of a short code like 3 and one um, to the web where the web doesn't have the same concept of you know, a, a short code that can route you to a different city or a different service. So we have to work out ways to coordinate between different cities and different service providers so that they can provide that consistency and user-friendliness that allows anyone to, to do the equivalent of dialing through and one or sending a text message to through and one and knowing that, you know, that it will get to the, to the right person but that they still get uh, all the benefits of, of the web and you know, the local platform of the web. So really the technology is about agreeing on a standard specification for how applications, um, both client applications on a mobile phone. Um, and, and the sort of applications and services on the web that the city services are using to interact with um, all the clients and, and different people out there in the field. So the, the challenge of the technology is, is not so much um, the technology itself, but getting people to work together and agree on standards. Um, so that's really the, the core of what the work around Open Through and One has been about, is, is coordination and collaboration around shared specification for how open 3 in one technology can work. There are a couple different ways that cities can get involved uh, depending on where where they are or how much they know about or how much they're interested in um, in open 3 in one uh, They can go to open 3 in one.org and uh, try and get a better sense of, of what it is and, um, and how much has been developed so far. Um, and how much coordination has, has happened around the specification and the different technology that's available out there. Um, and, uh, and two, if they actually are, are convinced and sort of want to be involved with this in developing their technology or, or using technology that supports this, um, they can get uh, more involved with the developer community. There's a mailing list and a lot of work that goes into the wiki um, on the open onegorg website that um, talks about the details of different technology and services and vendors that are involved with uh, this open standard and this open model. So there are some vendors that are exist you know, existing vendors that provide through and one services in cities that have, uh, have been interested and sort of want to be more involved with this. So uh, I encourage cities to, to speak to their vendors about working with us. And uh, there's some open source projects that have started up that are involved in this process too. Um, and then there are some great uh, service providers uh, that have been involved with this process and are um, excited to work with the, the open standard and all the applications that are built around it. So I would say go to openthrown.org. Um, you can get in touch with me, uh, Phil Ashlock, uh, Phil at openplans.org. You can join the mailing list, uh, or your developers can join the mailing list to, uh, to sort of find out how to uh, work on implementation or find out more about the tools that exist out there. Um, and, uh, and let us know what questions you have because we really want to involve more people and more cities um, to, to know how to make this something that works for everyone.